Hello dear students today we have moved in a new lecture and in this lecture we will cover some new questions which is based upon the chapter that is the nutrition in plants in the nutrition in plants we have seen so many different topics hi hello everyone my name is eras and i hope you are very good you are well satisfied in your life and now it's time to solve some more different questions in detailed explanation all right all clear obviously yes in the previous classes we have solved so many different questions which is based upon the short answer type questions all right all right i hope you have learned that type of the questions but in this lecture we will going to discuss about the long answer type questions we will solve only the questions which is based upon the long answer type questions all right all right but make sure you have already cleared all the questions up to previous lecture all right all right today the questions and i am going to erase the questions that is the questions number 41 41 all right the questions which is based upon the long answer type questions that means he wants to know what is long answer type questions actually the whatever the questions is going to erase that falls under the long answer type questions that answer should must be expressed in up to 50 words or up to more than 60 words but only 40 to 50 words may be enough for your class level all right all right now it's time to answer this particular questions here the question arises that give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants all right you know you have some ideas where the synthesis of food takes place i have told you the synthesis of food takes place in in plants parts that are the leaves of the plants all clear obviously yes that means what i just wants to tell you i just wants to say that the food making process that means ki this synthesis of food synthesis of food means the food making process will occurs or takes place in leaves of the plants all clear so the question here arises that he write brief description about the process of synthesis of food so synthesis of food takes place in leaves of the green plants all clear this is the answers I, that we have mentioned some may be description or some may be detail explanation let me finish Later, by the word this one, and the question here is that if what is chlorophyll? All right, the question is only one, but there are some more different questions in just single questions. Just like my body is only one, but I have two hands. Similarly, the question number is forty-one, but in the question number forty-one, there is mixing of some questions. That means we may we have some two questions or three questions in single questions. i hope you you are understanding my views my thoughts but i just wants to share with you all clear obviously yes so what is chlorophyll i have told you chlorophyll which is a green pigment which is found in a chloroplast or chlorophyll is present on the leaves of the plants or the surface of the leaves of the plants all clear obviously yes green substance actually next one what is the role of chlorophyll in in photosynthesis here is the questions that asking that ki why chlorophyll is present on the surface of leaf this is also the part of this questions or the question is that what is the functions of chlorophyll why is chlorophyll there what will happen if chlorophyll is not present that means chlorophyll is there on the surface of leaf there may be some functions that's why chlorophyll is sticking over the leaves or inside the leaves obviously yes okay let me cover the answers of this particular questions here is the answers the answer is that the first part of this answer about the description of process of synthesis of food in the leaves of the plants i am writing the process of synthesis of food takes place in leaves of the plants this is the description about this questions next one that is that this part questions chlorophyll what is chlorophyll so i am writing chlorophyll is nothing but a green substance which is present in the leaves of the plants so i have told you obviously yes and one 
ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन कैन बी रास्ट फ्रॉम दिस पार्टिकुलर पॉइंट कैन बी रास्ट दैट पिकुलर ऑफ फील इज ए ऑप्शन ए ग्रीन सब्सटेंस ऑप्शन बी येलो सब्सटेंस सी में रेड सब्सटेंस एंड डी में और then what will you take out you will just simply take out that that is the green substance obviously yes obviously yes. next one what is the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis role of this chlorophyll in photosynthesis i am writing the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis is that chlorophyll absorbs light energy okay light energy from the sun and supplies this energy to the leaves in order to do a process that is the photosynthesis all clear obviously yes you might have heard that sunlight is taken by the plants in order to prepare their food by a process named photosynthesis but how sunlight is taken by the plants actually the sunlight is absorbed by the plants by or through a green substance that is the chlorophyll this chlorophyll absorbs or takes sunlight energy from the suns and use this energy to make food by a process named photosynthesis all clear i hope you have learned the question number 41 in detail okay if you wants you can write it because i am side of your screen so that's why you can write it in well manner okay let me explain question number 42 42 and this is the a part of this question number 40 42 All right, forty-two A part question. Question that: How do plants get carbon dioxide for making food by photosynthesis? How? How is it possible? Obviously, yes. Why is it not possible? We are taking oxygen. You are also taking oxygen right now. Obviously, yes. We are taking, but what actually we all are consuming? We are taking air from. from the atmosphere the plants similarly plants also takes air from the atmosphere or plants we get oxygen from air plants also get carbon dioxide from air all right okay answer is that the plants take carbon dioxide gas needed for photosynthesis from from air from air okay but questions here arises sir we are taking oxygen from air okay no problem but through nostrils or through nose then plants take carbon dioxide from air no problem but uh, how how okay i am writing here through the teeny pores called astomata astomata through a teeny pores which is present over the surface of the leaves through this surface through this astomata teeny pores plants take carbon dioxide or absorbs carbon dioxide from air into the this particular astomata all right which is present on the surface of leaves all right so in this way plants get carbon dioxide for making food by photosynthesis making food after taking this carbon dioxide plants uh, use this carbon dioxide in order to make food by a process named photosynthesis if you wants you can write it but i suggest you you, you should must mention this one or you should must write this point this particular point now it's time to move on to next pages i hope you have you have written this point okay next one that is the question number 42 and this is the b part of question number 42 okay let me finish this questions question b here arises is that explain how give me or reasons how water and minerals are transported to the leaves of plant to to be used in food making by process named photosynthesis okay actually the water is available in the soil or the surface of soil then from that surface how plants absorb that water or nutrition is also available in the soil then how this all things is transported in whole part of the body parts of the plants the simple answers of this particular question says that plants take minerals or water from the soil all right 
through a vessels named xylem all right okay let me cover this one the plants take water which is needed for photosynthesis from where from soil from soil objective questions can be asked from this particular question points from where plants take water or minerals or nutrients to so from the soil soil is the correct answer all right all right next point i am writing that a water present in soil is absorbed by the roots of a plant obviously water is absorbed by the roots of the plants because the roots of the plants is is in the soil obviously yes so that's why root absorbs water and minerals for the plants and then after then transported to the leaves through a vessel through a vessel that is a interconnected pipes that means interconnected this is the pipes like a structure throughout the that throughout the roots stem branches and leaves that's why plants that's why the transportation of water is going to be takes place to the whole part of the body that is the leaf stem branch and the leaves also through a interconnected pipes like a structure called pipes like vessels that is the xylem for that right, you will get detailed explanation about this point that is the xylem in class 9 okay but you should must have some little knowledge about this xylem in this particular classes obviously yes okay i hope you have completed this questions that is the question b part of the question number 42 if you want you can write it because i am side of your screen okay then now let me cover next questions next question that is the 43 question number 43 what is question number 43 the question here arises is that describe but in briefly how nutrients are replenished in the soil i have told you and this is the topic i have already taught you in this particular chapter that how nutrients can be replenished in the soil okay next questions how is the growing of a leguminous crop in the fields beneficial to the farmer i have given you some concept about this this crop that is the leguminous crops i have taught i have taught you what is leguminous crops and some more different examples of leguminous crops obviously yes with gram that means that is the chana is a in example of leguminous crops so i have already told you about this knowledge or this concept so or that that is the leguminous crop but now the question here arises is that ki if you are sowing seeds or growing crops in the same field again and again then their nutrients of the soil may be deficient or deficient nutrient soil become then soil will one day will come then soil is lacking some nutrients then how you will we will fulfill that nutrients requirement okay let me explain these answers you have some ideas or knowledge about the manures and fertilizer so by adding manures and fertilizers you can recover the nutri soil nutrients this is the first point and the second one is that nutrients of the soil can be replenished or can, replenished means recovered can be recovered by by using or by growing leguminous crops all right how you are thinking that ki how leguminous crops can be replenished the soil nutrients actually leguminous crops actually root nodules of leguminous crops contains a bacteria named rhizomium bacteria and this rhizomium bacteria takes what nitrogen from the soil and convert them into nitrogen compound so in this way nitrogen requirement of the soil can be fulfilled by leguminous crops so in this way this crop can be helpful or useful for the farmers why because farmers do not need to add some extra extra nitrogen compounds to the soil and in this way farmers can save some more money and uh, instead of the money farmers will get uh, some crops that is the pulse crops by growing leguminous crops this is the first point and the second one nitrogen minerals will also will get added to the soils all right all clear obviously yes okay 
I am giving the answers that ki how neutrons are replenished in the soil. I have already told you, but tell, let me explain about this part. I am writing that flowing are the ways or methods by which nutrients, nutrients, don't write to this one, nutrients can be replenished in the soil. Okay. The first one is that through nutrients are replenished in the soil by adding fertilizers and manures. I have already told you fertilizers also have NPK that is the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Similarly, manures also contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Follow it. Next one, nitrogen can be replenished in the soil by growing leguminous crops. Okay. And I have told you how leguminous crops can can recover or replenish soil nutrients. Next one, about this one, the growing of leguminous crops in the fields are beneficial to the farmers. But the question arises is that how? I am writing, this is because the farmers do not require or need to put nitrogen fertilizer in the fields in which leguminous crops are grown earlier. Why? Because uh, I have told you, root nodules of leguminous products contain rhizomium bacteria and what is the role of rhizomium bacteria? You have some concepts I have noticed. Okay. Then in this way, we have uh, solved this particular answers and the questions. If you want, you can write it and then we will move to the next one and the next uh, pages or next questions. I hope you have re written these particular points. Do you have any confusion or any queries related to these particular points? Obviously, no. Obviously, no. Okay, let me go to the next one. All right. Your next questions, that is the question number 46. And this is the A part of question number 44. Sorry, 44A. The question here arises that a person observes that some plants have deep red, violet and brown colored leaves can this leaves carry out photosynthesis and give reason for your answers actually the question is that some students uh, who is watching me or who is looking me what you are looking you are seeing that uh, there is a black letter written here and there is a green background and this is uh, flag color of this particular events all right you are seeing me, you are watching different colors, batch colors and this is also, you can bracelet or maybe different things, bangles. We have observing different colors in our day to day life. So similarly, you have seen the color of the different leaves. Generally, you are watching green colored leaves, all right, no problem. But uh, some someday may we come in your life that you you got a chance to see the color of the leaf is maybe yellow maybe brown or maybe red brown or maybe some different colors other than green colors all right no problem but the questions here are just that is sir you you are teaching me the color of the leaf is green due to the presence of chlorophyll and that's why plants can do photosynthesis all right but one boy may be asked questions from me that Sir, can you explain one more thing? I will say what the, the questions may be asked that. Sir, the color of the leaf is yellow, brown, red, violet and other than green. And the color of leaf is not green. That means that leaf doesn't contain chlorophyll. You can ask from me. So, so no, this is not the part of the answers. You are thinking is not right. Actually, those leaves you are seeing the color of the leaves is red, yellow, and brown. That, that means this doesn't matter, and this doesn't tell you that if this that leaves doesn't contain chlorophyll. Because you can ask questions from me. If that leaves have chlorophyll, then the color of the leaves will be green. Okay, you are thinking right, but this doesn't mean a students that color have doesn't contain green color, green color that means they don't have chlorophyll actually they also have chlorophyll this is the fact and this is the things that has just wants to share with those colors of the leaf 
is not green and other than green that may be yellow brown red or another things then this type of leaves leaves also contain chlorophylls and if the leaves contain chlorophylls that means ki they can also also do photosynthesis and this is the fact but now again one can may be ask questions from me sir can you tell me one more things um, i will say obviously yes what is your questions the question here arises is that you are saying that ki the color the green pigment or green substance that is the chlorophyll is present in that particular leaf then why the color of that leaf is not green is green then i will say ki actually that leaves also contains some more different pigments that may be yellow pigment so that's why the color of the leaf is gray or maybe other things that's why the color of the leaves is some more different things all right your concept is clear i hope you have learned this particular things that i just shared you with you all right all right yes the answer is that yes the but the this is the question that if you are saying the plants can do photosynthesis yes plants can do photosynthesis if the color of the leaves is different from the green color then tell you why why you are saying ki, yes photosynthesis can be takes place not only in green color leaves but also in red color leaves or more different colors leaves why and if you are saying no then why you are saying no then give reasons this is the fact of this particular questions can you carry out for us and give reasons actually the question is asking that reasons for your answers okay no problem let us see here is the answers yes those plants have deep red violet and brown colored leaves can do photosynthesis i have already told you why because they also have chlorophylls this is because the leaves having colors other than green also have chlorophylls and if they have chlorophyll that means they can do photosynthesis or they can carry out photosynthesis this is the facts i hope dear you have learned these questions in detail if you want you can write it you can write it i hope you have written this particular questions next one that is the b part of question number 41 okay b part here here i'm this is the question that describe the importance of photosynthesis for the existence of life on the earth actually the fact is that if you are saying that ki what is the importance of photosynthesis i have i have already i have already i have already told you that uh, i have already taught you a topic named importance of photosynthesis i have told you what is the importance of photosynthesis actually the fact is that we have learned some different importance of photosynthesis what we have learned we have learned importance of photosynthesis actually the question is that ki bhai photosynthesis is going to take place and what we are getting plants are doing photosynthesis we are getting so many different things the first one is that we are getting food from the plants bhai because plants are doing photosynthesis you are asking how plants are doing photosynthesis that means they are getting food that means they are getting nutrition and if plants will get nutrition that means they grow and become mature and one day flowering come and then fruit will comes out and that fruit we can consume and take uh, taking that to fruits in food and we will get nutrients in this way this is the first importance of photosynthesis for my for the existence of our life on this earth if photosynthesis will not taken by the plants then we will die one day because we, we don't get food because we are getting um, more different amounts of food through by or by the plants only obviously yes this is the fact and the second point is that we are getting oxygen from this air but uh, how actually plants are taking carbon dioxide from this air and then they release oxygen into this air and then that oxygen is absorbed by us so in this way we will taking or getting oxygen for the survival of our life on this earth with the help of plants also and plants plays important role obviously yes okay clear clear this answer i have cleared you i have written describe the importance of okay flowering are the importance of photosynthesis for the existence of life on the earth 
the first one is that the photosynthesis is taken by the plants that means it provides food to animals to animals including human beings we will also take animals how actually goats sheep cows takes plants uh, or eats grass all right it puts oxygen gas into air which is useful for the animals including me also you also uh, this in this way we have learned question number 44 or b and a also next question that is a question number 45 a the question here is that what are the various modes of nutrition in plants give one example okay don't worry following are the various modes of nutrition in plants okay i have told you there are two modes of nutrition the first one is the autotrophic mode of nutrition second one heterotrophic mode of nutrition but other than this mode of nutrition i have already also told you saprophytic mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition but questions here arising that give some examples of these modes of the nutrition okay no problem let us see first of all you should must write this one okay let me cover here i am saying that the first one is that autotrophic nutrition for example green plants like paddy crops paddy crops is an paddy crop is a paddy crop is green plants and paddy crop is an example of autotrophic mode of nutrition second one is the heterotrophic nutrition animals just like me also we all are human beings are heterotrophic mode of nutrition and, and dogs cat cows many more different animals are heterotrophic mode of nutrition next one is the saprophytic nutrition actually mushroom is an example of saprophytic mode of nutrition all uh, mushroom is, is belongs to the fungus category parasitic nutrition cascata that is in the meaning of cascata is the amarvel all right all right now listen to me give me that particular books give me that books actually i am saying that this is the examples actually the question here arises that give only one examples of each of these modes of nutrition so i have already told you and i have already said this one i hope you have learned this particular this particular this particular points that i just wants to share with you okay next questions that what uh, the questions here arises is that okay let me cover what is the questions do you have books okay give me your books okay actually this is the this is the a part of these questions i have left the, the second part of these questions but don't worry i will cover that things actually all right the questions is that question is that b part of the questions the question that what do you understand by symbiosis explain with example all right all right no problem let us take have your books thank you for giving your books question is that what do you understand by symbiosis symbiosis what do you understand by symbiosis explain with an example this is the questions this is the b part of the questions all right okay let me explain b of b part of the questions is that question here arises that what is no 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 what what do you understand by symbiosis symbiosis and give give examples give an examples give an examples okay all right no problem i will told you the answer is that actually what is 
symbiosis symbiosis means two different species of the plants are the part of the same plant if the two different species of the plants are the part of the same plants and and they and helps them each other in order to get nutrition or prepare their food then this is the term we use that is the symbiosis symbiosis example lichens i've told you lichens have two different species that is the algae and fungus or fungi and algae all right actually two different hands are the parts of the same body and both of these hands can can help each other in order to clap and this is the same biosis that why i have told it but something different all right okay let me explain when two when two different a species of plants are are the parts are the parts of the of the same plants and help and help each other in order to get food then then you can say that here you can also say that food is called is called symbiosis all right examples lichens lichen this is the part of the alga and fungus or you can also said algae or alga whatever he wants to say i hope you have learned this particular questions in, in this way we have completed all the questions which is based upon the long answer type questions all right i don't think uh, you you need some more different extra questions which is based upon the long answer type questions okay so dear we will see you soon in the next videos or in the next class and for that moment you should must stay and connected with me i hope uh, you are you are understanding well whatever i am sharing with you and what i am teaching here i hope you are getting some different or detailed explanation about your topic and about your dots all right so so for i will see you soon in the next lecture for that moment you should stay or wait and wait for that lecture and for that moment you should must happy with your friends and uh, and uh, so love you all see you soon and take care